Okay, for this tip, we're going to go into um, Google Forms, and I'm going to show you something called data validation. This is a really great tip. I would use this a lot when I was creating things such as digital breakouts where I needed students to have the exact amount. But I would also do it in math and, and science with labs where I needed to know that they understood the material and I didn't want them to submit answers that you know didn't even make sense. Um, so using data validation uh, allows you to have control over what they put into the form and will only accept certain answers. So for this first one, I'm going to show you right here you have some op options, number, text, length, and regular expression. So if I go into number, um, and you can ask any sort of question. Um, let's say, what is the value of y on question four? Okay, so if the value of y, if you need the exact answer here, um, you would have to have it equal to. And if I do equal to 25, okay, custom error message, it says, uh, we can put an in incorrect. Keep trying. Okay. Now, if I go into preview here, and what is the value of y? Okay. The five is correct. So it will not allow me to keep. It will not allow me to submit here because I'm not submitting the right answer. So I would have to uh, keep going. Um, this also works. I'm going to leave this. This also works with. Uh, let's see, uh, text, it contains, does not contain an email address and so forth, or a regular expression um, matches. So if I said, what is the largest moon in the solar system? Um, now for this one it says pattern, so you can have patterns in here as well, but for me, um, the largest uh, moon in the solar system is Ganymede, um, and many students may say uh, Titan. So I would maybe instead of just saying incorrect or correct here, I could say I orbit Jupiter, not not Saturn. Okay, and now if I go into preview again. What is the largest moon? And I type in Titan. Okay, again, I'm accounting for maybe the most common misconception. But if I type in Grenamide, it's going to go through. Now you'll notice if I don't capitalize, it's not going to work. So they have to type it exactly. So sometimes in the incorrect, I'll put in tips like make sure you capitalize proper nouns. Um, make sure to go back and check your work. Now this isn't a great tip for something if you're doing like long sentences, but it's great for if you want, um, like if you're doing a, with science and FOSS, if you're saying how, what is the mass of the object? Okay, and we go back into number here. You can actually do in between, okay, between. So let's say I know that the object, where it could vary a bit, let's say it's between 40 and 60 grams. Okay, and I'm going to put in parentheses here because I want to get in grams. Okay, and I'll put a tip here go back and recalculate. Okay, so now if I go to preview, again, I'm going to go to preview here. And if I say, if my group measured and they said 35, it's going to say go back and recalculate. So something went wrong. You can put in more information. But if I say 45, we're good. 48's good. 49's good. 61's no good. 60 is good. So um, this would be a way for you to keep track of, uh, to make sure that they're giving reasonable answers in labs and in math class as well as carrying over to eventually maybe even possibly doing a digital breakout. Uh, more information will come on that soon in an upcoming newsletter.